Delta Sigma Pi is one of the largest co-ed professional business fraternities in the United States with over 200 active chapters and 226,000 initiated members. Four men, Alexander Frank Mackay, Henry Albert Tinkin, Harold Valentine Jacobs, and Alfred Moisello founded Delta Sigma Pi at New York University in 1907 and it hasn't stopped growing since. In 1934, the Delta Sigma Pi craze finally spread to Ryder University, making Ryder the 59th school to have an active chapter. In order to pledge Delta Sigma Pi, a student must have at least a 2.75 GPA and must receive a bid from the active members. Social Chair Mark Williams and Senior Vice President Katie Bordis were able to share a bit about the pledge process. First you have to get a bid. Uh, you have to go to Meet the Brothers and once you do that you, um, you can come out and what we tell you before you get a bid is that it's, it's related to maybe having an extra course, an extra three credit course, that's what the commitment is. It, it is a lot of work and you have to uh, be prepared for it and you have to um, want to do it. There are four types of events we hold each semester. There's social events, fundraising events, community service events, and professional events. Um, for our professional events, we have speakers come to our school and talk to us. We go to places. This past uh, semester, we went to Johnson & Johnson for a conference. For community service events, we do things like Relay for Life, go to the nursing home. At Relay for Life, we've won the Spirit Award for the past three years. And for social events, we go out to dinner, paintballing, things to just bond between the brothers. And for fundraising events, we uh, work with Candelas and local businesses to raise money. Gertrude Hawk we've done the past year and we've raised over a thousand dollars for the semester. Um, so those are the four types of events that we do. Pledging is seven weeks long and the pledge process you would have to, uh, as your pledge class, you would have to hold each of those four events for the fraternity. Junior member Ethan Grossman explained the reasons why he got involved with Delta Sigma Pi. The main reason was because I wanted to get involved, and I didn't want to get involved in any organization. I really wanted something that would help me after graduation. So Delta Sigma Pi is something that gives me professional skills in the business world that I can use afterwards in my career, but also gives me a time that I can have fun in college. I wanted that balance, and I think Delta Sigma is something that brings that to me. I would feel completely Delta Sigma Pi has been worth it for me. It's been one of the best experiences in my college career. Uh, first, it got me my internship after my freshman year on Wall Street. Uh, after that, it's gotten me various internships at Johnson Johnson with Congressman Frank Pallone. And this summer I'm actually working with someone who graduated last year from Delta Sigma Pi. So I was able to meet them, connect with them, and once they graduated and started working for an alternative energy company, I sort of contacted them, said I really wanted to get into alternative energy. And they said, of course, you know, come in, interview. I met the company, and it landed me an internship for this summer, which I'll be working at. Like most fraternities, Delta Sigma Pi has faculty advisors. Dr. John Donovan is now the faculty advisor for Delta Sigma Pi at Ryder University after replacing Dr. John Wyman, who served for 29 years. Dr. Donovan shared some of his experiences as faculty advisor. I think the role of the faculty advisor is sort of just to provide support for the student groups, help them where needed. Um, Delta Sigma Pi is a very unique group because they don't actually, they're, they're pretty self-motivated, they, they're structured, they know exactly what they need to do. I'm here more simply as an advisor to answer questions, to help if there's anything I can do uh, with Ryder University or um, sign any forms that I need to. So really, it, it's more of, of an advisor than anything else. I'm not telling them what to do. They, they know what to do. I'm just here in case they need someone. What I do is, whenever they have events, like we just had a retirement dinner for, for Alan Wyman, so I went there. So any time there's an event that's going on that I can be present at, I will do that. And in addition, I meet with the president of the group, Howard Furman, on a weekly basis just to, to ask him questions, for him to give me an update on uh, what's happening and also to just ask uh, for any help that he needs, any support. I, I really think that they have a good handle on things, like each, each person in there has an idea of where they want to go with things, their goals, where they want to move forward uh, with Delta Sigma Pi, so really, again, uh, my, my goal is to let them work on their goals and th their strategic initiatives and just kind of be as supportive as I possibly can. In the 104 years since its inception, Delta Sigma Pi has grown like wildfire, so they must be doing something right. If you're a business student with big aspirations, you might want to check out Delta Sigma Pi and all it has to offer.